Jesus. There you go. Look at the size of that box. Right, let's have a look. Are you ready? Hey up, I'm Fat Sam Eats and you're watching another episode of Scram Review, a show dedicated to drawing back the curtains on Manchester's food scene and putting a spotlight on the city's hidden gems. And today I'm doing just that, it common in the Northern Quarter. But let me tell you this, there's nothing common about the Scram going on in here. There's a very different kind of pop-up pizzeria inside this well-known Edge Street haunt. A place that serves up New York inspired super slices that are prepped for 36 hours before hitting the oven. So without further ado, Welcome to Nell's Pizza, where some of the menu items are proving so popular, I brought a whole film crew with me. Right, is that the intro done now? Come on inside, I'm hungry. Okay, we are here with the owner of Nell's, Johnny, and we're gonna make some pizza dough. Great, okay, so here we've got our, uh, our Nell's pizza dough. This has already been fermenting for 24 hours. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we've weighed it out into portions and we're just going to boil it up, ready to make some pizza tomorrow. So this will go back into fermentation for another 24 hours okay. before we use it. You all right, that, yeah? That's really good, yeah. Awesome! Yeah, and then yes. you pop it back down on the counter. You can have a little bit more flour on your hand. And then you just form a cage over the top of the ball. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then you yeah, just no make some serious. circles. Classic, classic bread making. Thing. Okay. And all this does is kind of polish off that seam at the bottom. Yeah. And it should end up looking nice and smooth. Ready to oh, go. yes! Yeah? yeah? Well done. Nice work. Awesome. And then, a good part. bit of a slack. Okay. Get rid of any bit. So put a bit of flour on? You can do Okay. Nice, nice. <laughs> Straight in, yeah? Yeah, yeah, all good. Oh. All good. There awesome. we go. So now you just do that another hundred times. Today. Okay, yeah, I'll leave that up to you, Johnny. <laughs> Look at the f size of that box. Right, let's have a look. Are you ready? Holy moly. F me. That is massive. Um, so this one is a do your own honey. And on this, we have some crushed tomatoes, a mozzarella blend. We've got cobble lane pepperoni, naduya, chili honey and sprinkled with some grated parmesan. So yeah, it looks absolutely beautiful. Johnny, the owner of Nell's Pizza, he's now gonna come in and he's gonna show us the correct way to hold one of these hench slices. Come on in, Johnny, don't be shy. Hi. Come and sit hi, down, hi. baby. Okay, Thanks. show us the correct way, mate. It's a two-stage process, okay. really. You wanna, you wanna separate your slice. Okay. You know? Make sure you, you pull it clear. You want to snap the crust. Okay. Nice, nice little crunch little snap, there. And fold the whole slice. Okay. And then you should just be able to lift Look it up. Look at that, no droop as well. Just, just, a, just a tiny, tiny one. Oh, it's gone. A little tiny droop there. And then just... Well, that's nice. And then... Look at that. Okay, so let's do it. So I'm going to part this slice. I'm now going to snap the dough, the crust, sorry. And just like that, yeah? And then you just want a nice lean. You want to lean, fold and okay. lean. Fold and lean. Wow. That is absolutely incredible. That Naduja is absolutely phenomenal. Mm. Nice melted cheese. That tomato is nice and fresh. Loving it, let's try some of this pepperoni. Now you say this is from London, yeah? Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah, we try and use British ingredients where we possibly can, yeah. But yeah, it's just a nice combo, kind of sweet, savory, salty, Yeah, you're getting that little spicy. kick afterwards with, yeah. the, with the chili honey. Beautiful. Nice mixture of textures, you get a bit of crunch, a bit of gooiness. The base is nice and soft. 
but also nice and crunchy on the bottom. It's beautiful. Probably one of the best pizzas I've ever had, you know. Right? Beautiful, mate. Bravo. I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Johnny is bringing the next pizza. Bring it in, Johnny, come on. There we go. Oh, look at the size of these boxes. Jesus, are you ready? It smells insane. Holy Christ. Look at the size of it. Oh, them smells, I'm getting that spice coming through. Okay, this next one is called Original Sausage Material. Okay. I'm remembering the technique. Pull the slices apart. Thumb in the middle. Listen to the crunch. Oh yes, okay. Not much droopage, that's what we like. Mm. Straight away, that jalapeno, jalapeno, however you wanna say it. He's got a kick to it. It's spicy. The base is nice and crunchy, but also a little bit soft on top, which is how we like it. So look how crunchy it is and how, how, how like stiff it is. No droop. No droop at all. Okay, going for a second bite. Let's get some more flavours. Mmm. Johnny, that is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, we have on this pizza, we have your crushed tomatoes, We've got the mozzarella blend, we have some house sausage, some pepperoni, we've got some jalapenos. We have also, which has been drizzled on here, we have some of the uh, fermented chili sauce and then grated with parmesan over the top. And honestly, it is absolutely beautiful. The smell, the aromas coming off it is just insane. So let's carry on eating this baby. Every bite is just like heaven. It's just, oh, beautiful. You know what? I'm gonna have a bit of the crust as well. Actually, crust is always, it's, 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 it's a big key for dipping. Mmm. Nice and crunchy on the outside. Soft and gooey in the middle. Just absolutely banging. Beautiful pizza, Johnny. Smashed it, lad. Johnny, tell us a little bit about this pizza, mate. Well, we thought it'd be rude not to do a bit of an ode to the kind of classic spicy meat feast sort of pizza. So, um, yeah, we've done it ourselves, but we've just piled in a little bit more thought and a bit more quality in there. So we're making our own house sausage. So it's got a lot of fennel and chili in there. We've got really good quality pepperoni from Cobble Lane in London. We're making our own jalapenos, gelepinos, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Uh, and we're also making our own in-house like fermented chili sauce. So it takes about a week to make it and then we blitz it down and it's got this really nice kind of sweet, sour, spicy sort of thing going on. I just had a massive bite then and it's absolutely beautiful. I really like it. So where did the inspiration come for, for Nels? Well, I suppose we've got, um, you know, there's a lot of good pizza in Manchester and there's a lot of good pizza in the UK, but it's a bit of a monoculture, really. You know, it, the, all the good pizza generally is Neapolitan style. So, um, which I like, you know, but it's very kind of restaurant-y, sit down, knife and fork, pizza, a little bit wet, a little bit sloppy. You want to get messy, don't you, with the pizza? Exactly, yeah. You know, and we wanted to do something that was a bit more social. I mean, fundamentally, what we do is we run pubs. So I wanted to create something that sort of sat alongside that really well. So we wanted to have something that you could eat with your hands. You could hold a slice in one hand. Pint in the other. Pint in the yes. other. And you know, it's that perfect sort of social yeah. food. Yeah. Um, so where did the, the name Nels come from? Where was the inspiration for that? Uh, well, we toyed around with a lot of different names, but I think the more we worked on the project, the more it felt really personal. Um, so we wanted the whole thing to be a bit personal. So the name actually comes from our kids' names. Oh, okay. Um, so Nell, Edith, and Lenny. Now, so, Lenny, well, isn't it? yeah, it's really nice that. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. So Bring these got, slices to me, baby. Uh, our cheese and onion pie. 
and our, we're calling it posh garlic bread for the moment. We're still working on the name, but uh, it's a bit of a work in progress. Yeah. I want you to What's on it? it? What makes it posh? Well, it's got more stuff on than just garlic, you see. It's, okay. got, uh, it's got roast garlic cream, mm -hmm. it's got uh, mozzarella, it's got smoked Lancashire cheese. Oh, lovely. Um, it's got black garlic ketchup on it, it's got sliced garlic. Oh, we'll, we'll move this one to the side. I'm going to try this this garlic bread. Garlic bread. Posh garlic bread. Yeah, yeah. Ready? Listen, are you going to the crunch? Beautiful. Mm. That is absolutely beautiful. That cheese has like um, such a tang to it. It's nice, mm. really nice. Yeah. Well, we're trying to use like cheese that's as local as possible. Yeah. So we're actually using quite a lot of Lancashire cheese. Yeah, We've got yeah. a really great cheese supplier, the Crafty Cheese Man. Who's okay who's finding there's all these kind of weird and wonderful local cheeses that's awesome. that, you know, just uh, uh, stone's throw yeah, from Manchester, yeah. so. That is just beautiful. Proper posh. I think posh. That the black garlic, it's like, a, it's a really weird Yeah, it's a weird a aspect planes, to it, but, it, but it's like. It's, um, I've, it, I've, want, I've wanted to put it on a pizza for ages. Yeah. So this is my first attempt. So yeah, well, I think be, it should be, be on the menu all the time, <laughs> because that is beautiful. Honestly, Johnny, bravo. Okay, it brings us on to the next slice. What do we have here? So this is our homage to uh, the classic northern cheese and onion pie. Okay. It's inspired a little bit by my brother-in-law, who's okay. like he's like a two cheese and onion pie kind of guy. Is he? You know. Yeah. Two two pies per sitting. <laughs> um, my kind of guy. That yeah. Um, so yeah, again using some mozzarella, but also like crumbly Lancashire cheese. Okay. We've got some roast garlic cream on there. Mm -hmm. We've got some burnt onions. Yeah, nice and charred, I've seen that. Yeah, it looks beautiful, that. And then we just finish it off with some chives just to make it that little little bit extra oniony. Yeah. And then a little bit of parmesan. It looks beautiful. So. I feel like I don't want to eat it because it's it just looks absolutely stunning. I don't want to eat artwork. But anyway, I'm going to eat it anyway for the fans. You ready? Oh, crunchy, baby. Here we go. Every bite just takes you to another world. It's just beautiful. That crispy garlic, not garlic, crispy onions, yeah. charred onion, beautiful. Yeah, and the chive as well coming through. I'm speechless. Phenomenal. Oh, Absolutely like beautiful. Like yeah. So I think that's where we're like part of our sort of founding principle is that we're New York inspired, you know, mm -hmm. we took a lot of influence from New York, but we're kind of, we're local. Yeah, you know, This I like is it. like a Manchester yeah, product. Big ass local yeah. pizzas, I yeah. like it. Johnny, bring in them last two slices, baby. Here we go. Okay. So we've got okay. our veganic slice mm -hmm. and our original cheese okay. slice. Well. What's on the vegan one? So we make our own uh, Roast garlic cashew cream, okay, uh, which is kind of like savoury, a little bit cheesy. Okay. Um, then we've got some chilli on there, sliced mushrooms, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of thyme, and we make a kind of concentrated tomato sauce, which okay. goes on the top. Okay. There's lots of garlic in there. So, okay. Let's um, have a try of that then. Yeah. Crunch. Oh, that sound it just gets me every time. Mmm, that is nice. That sauce, that tomato sauce is really fresh, really nice. Yeah, so it's a bit of a challenge to, like, we we went around and we tried almost every single mm -hmm. vegan cheese, vegan mozzarella on the market. Mm -hmm. I didn't really like any of them that much, but if there's anyone that wants to send me some more samples out there, that's yeah. fine. Is this, we'll, is this we'll like, do, do a lot um, of people buy this? Yeah, it's really yeah, popular, really popular actually. Yeah. Like, it's gone down an absolute bomb awesome. with, with vegans. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm happily, really proud of it. I, I'm not vegan, but I would happily have that. And there'd be no yeah. complaints at all. Move on to the classic margarita. Yeah. Well, well it's okay. Not, I, I mean, I Explain. don't want to. I don't want to be fussy here, but okay. it's, it's actually not a margarita. Oh, okay. What is it then? Officially, a margarita has got a basil on it. Oh, it's okay. The colours of the Italian flag. So well, I did not flag. know that. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Never stop Agreed. learning. Right, okay. uh, well, this is this is a cheese slice. So this okay. is your quintessential New York slice. This is the slice by which every slice shop in New York is judged on there. Okay. They, in, in, in New York, they often just call it plain slice. Okay. Just a plain slice. Uh, but we call it original cheese because plain slice yeah. makes it sound quite boring. I've got a uh, I've got a good New York joke. Are you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> Why did the New Yorker sleep under his car? So we could get up oily. Okay. <laughs> you get it? Oily? Early? Oil? No? Okay. Let's try the pizza. <laughs> you ready? Oh wow. Mmm. That is just beautiful. Really nice cheesy slice of pizza. There Love you it. go. Mm -hmm. Can't say fairer than that. No. So this is the one that we've worked, put the most work into, just trying to get that consistent, get it really nice, get it really nicely balanced. We're using two different mozzarellas, mm -hmm. so you get a kind of stretchy mozzarella that gives you the texture, and then we've got a slightly creamier mozzarella yeah. as well. You're getting that, that creamy cheese, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's really, really nice, mate. So none of us are jetting across the Atlantic to go and see the Big Apple anytime soon. But with Nell's serving up some New York style pizza right on our doorstep, why bother? For big slices of perfectly prepared pizza with even bigger flavour, this is the spot for you. And you can even enjoy them al fresco in Edge Street's outside seating area. Catch Nell's firing up the ovens from Wednesday to Sunday every week. And don't forget your appetite. Right, I'm off. Actually, I've got room for one more slice. 